Financial inequality grew even wider last year. That's according to a UC Berkeley economics professor who says income for the top 1% of households jumped more than 7% in 2015 to an average of 1.36 million. And for the rest of us, the average income rose just under 4% to about $48,000. Wall Street is closed for the July 4th holiday. On Friday, stocks ended the first trading day of the third quarter broadly higher. The Dow gained 19 points, while the Nasdaq also closed up 19. More troubles for Chipotle after a string of foodborne illnesses in some of its establishments last year. Media reports say the chain has placed its chief creative executive on administrative leave after prosecutors in New York made public an indictment naming him as an alleged buyer in a cocaine drug ring. And if you're planning to celebrate Independence Day with a beverage or two, a new survey from WalletHub finds Laredo, Texas and Lincoln, Nebraska are the cheapest cities on average for a glass of wine or beer on the 4th, while Anchorage, Alaska is the most expensive. That's your Money Watch. For more, log on to CBSMoneyWatch.com. In New York, I'm Karina Mitchell.